I just saw a really cool tutorial from Joe Deegan on this zoom effect that he uses in PowerPoint for e-learning courses. And if we play it real quick, see his effect. What he is is using the zoom animation effect and then zooming in on a monitor as a transition technique to his uh, next slide. So Joe threw out a little challenge at the end of that to see if there wasn't a better way to maybe control the focal point. So for example, if you were focusing more on the, the, the scissors over here or the speakers. And I think you can using the uh, motion path. So here's my take on it real quick. Let me just hit play. So I'm using the grow shrink, but then I also combined it with a motion path that kind of moved this image off the uh, slide. So we're actually able to zoom in over here. You can see maybe a series of buttons that would link to different parts based on where the, where the slide branches. So let me show you how I set it up. Now I'm working in PowerPoint 2010, but uh, the, the effects are in the process is really the same. It's just a little different interface. So here's my final version, but let's go ahead and just build it out real quick. Starting with just this image, I want to bring open my animation. And on the animation tab, I'm going to select grow shrink. Grow shrink as an emphasis technique. Okay. And I'm going to right click and just choose effect options and make that around maybe 300 or so. Okay. Just enough to... Um, bring that a lot larger. You can see it zooms in pretty well right there. Okay. Now the next thing I want to do is just combine this grow shrink animation with a motion path. So I'll select the object. Now for the animation to add an animation, it's a little bit different here. Uh, here's the button for it. I think in um, 2007, there's a button over here that says add effect. So this time I want to add a motion path. Now I'm just going to use a straight line. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to choose it to go somewhat off to the left. And this is the part that I had to actually spend a little time, a little time uh, playing with. So it's going to go straight down by default. First thing I want to do is just right click and choose start with previous. So these two go together. So if I click play, the motion path goes down. So what I want to do is I'm actually in this case telling PowerPoint to move this image off the stage. As it gets bigger, I want this to become in. So actually we want to zoom to the left of the motion path to bring this into more of the uh, center of the slide. So let me just try that now. Okay. A couple things going on, and this is something also I just noticed. By default, and this is true in 2007, PowerPoint's going to put some sort of an easing effect. So let me right click this real quick. There is a, a smooth start and an end and a smooth end. That little end is what's causing this little jiggle at the end. So let's try it one more time and just watch for this image to move back and forth. So it kind of does a soft little easing effect. If you don't want that or you feel like that's a little bit too much, you can just drop that down to zero. And uh, the start is okay, actually. It's just the end. So I'll turn that off. And let's try playing it one more time. Okay, looks good. Just probably want to bring this over just a little bit more. And that's the part that you want to keep playing with is to see how far. So actually, I'm going to turn off the start because I don't like the way the start's kind of looping outward and then coming back in. And this is just, again, more my preference. I want it to be a little straighter path. Play these together. And there's a quick effect. So combining it with the grow effect and the motion path, the motion path is going to go off the center. According, of course, of how, depending on where your image is and where you want to focus, you'll adjust your motion path, you know, longer or shorter. And uh, I don't know. That's my try at it. Hopefully uh, someone else will have a, uh, another idea.